So, as you saw from that extremely dramatic introduction, my name is Ethan Webster. This is my Civitas senior presentation. Uh, I'm going to be telling you about my experience with the Civitas program, uh, how it's changed me over the years, and what I've learned from it. And since I'm the first presentation of the day and actually of the year, I thought it would be appropriate to show you a short introductory video on what the program's all about. So I'm going to show you a documentary uh, that my brother and I made freshman year about Civitas. So uh, please enjoy.
All right, yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, Grant Webster's my uh, twin brother, so we both made that freshman year. Um, and now that you have some background information on the program in general, I'm going to be telling you about my personal experience uh, right after I open the PowerPoint. Sorry about that uh, wait. So yeah, my name is Ethan Webster. I'll be telling you about my experience with the program. Now, as you heard from the video, there's much more to Civitas than just classwork. But what we learned in school is still a very important part of the program. So I'll be going over what I learned in each of the Civitas classes. The first class that we all took was Introduction to Political Science. This was one of my uh, favorite classes because for one thing, it taught us to be uh, knowledgeable about current events because we had to analyze two news articles a week, so that helped us stay up to date on what was going on in our country. And then perhaps my favorite thing about this class was what we called congresses. These, these are essentially class-wide discussions on a uh, variety of issues. What would happen is Ms. Reed would announce what the topic would be. It would always be an important national issue, uh, like gun control or gay marriage or immigration. Then we would research uh, about the issue and everyone in the class would present for uh, one to two minutes on their ideas about the issue. And the reason I found this very interesting was because everyone always had different ideas that they liked to share. People would bounce ideas off each other and the discussion was very in-depth. And oftentimes there would be an issue that I would think I thought one way on, but then because of the Congress I would either change my opinion or at least uh, acknowledge the opposing viewpoint. So this was a very interesting experience. And then the next class we took was state and local government, where we narrowed the, uh, the topic down to California as well as uh, Sacramento. And then the first semester, sophomore year, we took international relations. This was a more difficult class because the scope was wider, it was about the entire world. And uh, what was probably the most memorable part about this class was the mock UN meeting that we had. We were all assigned a country, and then we had to role play as ambassadors from that country, and we had to write uh, resolutions and then present them in the mock UN meeting, where they would be discussed. And it really helped me get into the shoes of uh, certain countries. My country was Libya, which was very interesting because there was a lot going on in Libya at the time with the Arab Spring and whatnot. Um, so it really helped me get a feel for how countries interact with each other through first-hand experience. Then the next class that I had was speech. I really enjoyed uh, this class because I believe that public speaking is important for school and for life in general. And when I first came to the Civitas program, I was not the best public speaker, but thanks to the congresses, as well as oral presentations and speech class, it helped me become more comfortable in front of people, which uh, I'm very thankful for. And in fact, the speech class got me so interested in public speaking that I decided to join the speech and debate team at Rio, and I've had a lot of fun competing and practicing over the years in that club, so I have Civitas to thank for that. The next class we took was Philosophy of Political Thought. This was the first semester junior year. This was both the most difficult class and also my favorite class. Uh, there was definitely a lot of work. There was projects and classwork. But it was, in my opinion, very interesting work because it was on uh, a vast array of subjects. We studied uh, many different philosophers uh, of all different time periods who all had different ideas on an array of different subjects from uh, religion to morality to all kinds of things. So that really kept the conversation in this class interesting. And that's probably the reason that it's my favorite class. Uh, the final class that we took second semester junior year was macroeconomics. 
uh, although this wasn't my favorite class because I'm not so much of a uh, math economics person, it was uh, a lot different from the rest of the programs and a fairly interesting class. Now, uh, like I said, there is more to Civitas than just classwork. I've had a lot of opportunities through the program that I don't think I would have gotten had I not taken Civitas. Uh, the first one uh, is that the discussions are always very in-depth. When you come to Civitas, we discuss hot-button issues and we present all kinds of different viewpoints on them, which is something that I don't think you would get with many other classes. In fact, Civitas is the only class that, that I've been able to discuss things so uh, with such uh, depth. Now, uh, another opportunity that we get through Civitas is field trips. You'll see here uh, a speaker of former President Bill Clinton. Uh, I didn't get this off the internet. This is actually a picture I took when I got to see him speak at UC Davis, uh, and I have Civitas to thank for that opportunity. It was definitely a very memorable experience and a great thing to see. Uh, another opportunity we get through Civitas is all the in-class speakers. This is the only class where we get speakers to come in and present their ideas to the class and actually allow us to participate in the discussion as well. And I think the most interesting speakers uh, that we had in class uh, happened in the uh, philosophy class because we got philosophers uh, who were like modern day philosophers as well as uh, people who taught philosophy at colleges or different schools and they presented their ideas, shared them with us and let us discuss and all of them said that they were impressed by how engaging Civitas students were. And that's one of the things that you'll only get with Civitas is engaging classmates. Uh, Civitas is the only class that I've had throughout high school where pretty much every student, with almost no exceptions, is very engaging, very willing to learn, and very willing to participate in discussion. Uh, it's refreshing to walk into Civitas and have people eager to discuss ideas uh, when in most of my other classes the conversation may run a little dry and people aren't uh, very motivated. But in Civitas, that's never the case. Now, this I'll move on to uh, community service, which is a big part of the program. Everyone is required to do uh, 100 hours of community service in their first two years of the program. Uh, this is something that you know scares a lot of freshmen because 100 hours is definitely a long time. It definitely scared me uh, when I first got there. Uh, but it went by faster than I was expecting because I was able to get most of my community service hours done uh, by volunteering for Congressman Ani Berra. Uh, he wasn't a congressman at the time, actually, because I helped out on his campaign. He ran in 2010 and 2012 for Congress, and my brother Grant and I volunteered in 2010 when we were 14. Uh, we were the youngest volunteers in the office. So we learned what to do to help uh, phone bank, which was where we called uh, people from a list of registered voters, uh, got talking to them and tried to convince them to vote for Ami Berra. And then the other thing we did was canvassing, which I found more interesting. We got to go door to door and talk to uh, people from a list of voters and then try to convince them to vote for our candidate. Uh, although he did not win in 2010, he won in 2012 in a very narrow victory. It was actually the closest congressional race of 2012. And the entire reason that Ami Berra was elected, it wasn't because of money or ads, it was because he had so many volunteers working for him. So uh, it made me feel good to be a part of what helped him ultimately get elected. Here we have a sign for Angara that I placed in my yard. Alright. And um, so yeah, it was definitely a very rewarding experience. And the next the next experience I had in Civitas was my internship. After doing so much volunteering for Angara, I thought it would be a great idea to see if I could get an internship with him. So I was very pleased when they accepted me to intern for the newly elected congressman. I worked 80 hours over 8 weeks in the summer, and this was um, a big uh, experience for me because I've never had a paid job before, and this was really my first work experience, getting out and having some responsibilities, uh, going to the office two times a week, and having people depend on me. So I'm definitely glad that I had this experience. Uh, some of my jobs included responding to constituents, 
People would often call in to the office and it was my job to answer the phone and listen to what they had to say. People would call with issues or concerns or personal problems and then it was my job to write down a summary of what they had to say and submit it to the staffers so that they could evaluate it, move forward with it and help people with their problems. Uh, the other tasks that I had varied from day to day depending on what the staffers had for me that day. Uh, oftentimes I scheduled events for the congressmen or the staffers to go to and uh, sometimes I compiled information about important issues in the district and put them onto sheets and presented them to the staffers or gave them to the staffers so that they could use that as sort of a resource when people asked about those issues. So, and some, one of my favorite parts about the internship experience was that the uh, Army Barra's Congressional Office, they really value getting back to people on time and actually helping them with the problems. So I felt good that I was helping real people with real problems. Now the uh, final big leg of my Civitas experience was the senior project. Uh, it was a project that I called Project Team Patient. This was a fund drive and donation drive at the school to raise money and items for teens in local hospitals. Uh, I publicized it by putting posters around the school and getting it announced in the bulletin. And then I uh, stood outside the flagpole before and after school to collect donations. Here's a picture of a uh, fellow Civitas student, Sam Calvert, dropping off an item. Now, this was um, a, very, a very important project to me because I actually know what it's like to be a teen patient. I had heart surgery when I was 16. So, uh, and although the hospital was very accommodating, I noticed that a lot of the accommodations were geared for younger students, like six and seven year olds, so that's why I aimed to benefit teens in my project and collect items to make their stays at the hospital go more smoothly. So some of the items I collected were headphones, uh, warm socks and slippers, pajamas, gift cards, and over $500 in cash, cash donations. And then I delivered all these items to Sutter Hospital where they could be uh, put to good use. So overall, my experience at Civitas has been definitely